So I welcome you to the lecture series on digital image processing and today our topic is adaptive histogram equalization that is ASC and that is a part of local contrast management. So you just got that ASC stands for adaptive histogram equalization. Although it is a histogram equalization technique but it is different from ordinary histogram equalization in the sense that it is not global and you already got that this is local okay so it computes many histograms correspond to different sections of an image so it works on the basis of window to window based calculation so it is possible to enhance the local contrast of an image through ASE Okay, now with adaptive histogram equalization, the information of all the intensity ranges of an image can be viewed simultaneously and thereby solving the problem of many ordinary devices which are unable to depict the full dynamic intensity range. So you should note down that with adaptive histogram equalization, the main benefit is that you can utilize the full dynamic intensity range. Okay, so first, a contextual reason is defined for every pixel in the image, and then contextual reason is the reason centered about that particular pixel. Then the intensity values for this reason are used to find the histogram equalization mapping function. That person is same. Okay. Then the mapping function thereby obtain is applied to the pixel being processed in that region and hence the resultant image produced after each pixel in the image is mapping differently. This results in the local distribution of intensities and final enhances are based on means the result of the final enhancement will be based on local area rather than the entire global area area of the image. As you have seen that, we are concentrating every pixel and thereby its surrounding region. So the main advantage you can say that here every local region is being tried to be enhanced. Okay, so contrast is improved thereby. Although we have seen there are two the advantages, main advantages of adaptive histogram equalization. The first one being that it helps us to utilize the full dynamic range of intensities and the next one is that here every local region is being intensified means uh, enhanced but there exists one disadvantage of adaptive histogram equalization and that is sometimes adaptive histogram equalization tends to over enhance the noise content that may exist in some homogeneous local block of the image by mapping a short range of pixels to a wide range. And you, you should analyze this statement, you should note down this statement that how, how ASC tends to amplify the noises in particular region. Because you know noises usually differs from a normal pixel because its intensity range may be too high like that. So when we try to equalize the intensities in that particular region consisting of one noise, then what happens? The other values will also get affected. And in that way, so some amplification of noise will occur in that particular local region. That is the disadvantage of adaptive histogram equalization. Well, to show you an experimental result, see the first one is being the normal image means look <coughs> original image and uh, this one is being obtained after adaptive histogram equalization. Okay, every local region is being uh, intensified or is being enhanced through ASC. So you may see the histogram also. This is the histogram of the original image and this is after adaptive histogram equalization. Okay, so that's it. So I hope you have got what is adaptive histogram equalization. So as a question for this lecture, you will first 
write the advantages and disadvantages of adaptive histogram equalization. Also, you will try to note down the steps involved in adaptive histogram equalizations. So, do comment the answers and I will meet you in the next lecture and that will be very important. Although, that will be a very short lecture, but that is about Clahe. Well, meet you then. Take care. Bye-bye.